So here we have the Jaguar F-Pace on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors and a tow bar as well. Plenty of boot space. You can increase this space further by folding down those three seats you see, should you wish to do that, of course. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer. We have the rev counter over on the right-hand side. In the center, you can see the main trip computer, which includes uh, a fuel gauge, cold and temperature gauge, digital readout for the speedometer at the very top, and at the very bottom, the total miles of the car, firstly, they are 76,475. And to the right-hand side of that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so of course we're in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. On the right-hand side, uh, we have our cruise control, speed limiter, heated steering wheel, and behind the steering wheel, the plus and minus paddles. That is so you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the touch screen. So we have a few physical buttons down either side that will allow you to access menus directly or from the home screen, uh, you'll be able to access your satellite navigation, which is the menu we were just on. You'll better pair your phone. You better access your climate control. You can also access, access your media settings as well. Uh, this car's got DAB, FM and AM radio, as you can see, auxiliary input. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once you paired up your phone. Uh, and on top of all of that, it has a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen as well. And if we pop the car uh, back into park, uh, that will stay on there until we maneuver the vehicle. And as you can see, that's now gone off. Uh, below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature the driver temperature, you can increase or decrease the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, and that will show within the climate control menu on the main screen that we were on uh, just a second ago. When you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning on, same button to turn it off again, or hit auto, the car will now take full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Uh, you can override that manually anytime you wish to, you'll see that's now gone off. We have a heated rear screen and a heated front screen as well. Uh, up on the main screen, you can control your heated seats, as you can see. So that's your driver and passenger seat there with three different heat settings each. Main volume for the stereo is here. Start and stop button for the engine. We have the dial that is the gear lever essentially in this car. So we're in park at the moment. We have reverse, neutral, drive and sport all available on there. Uh, and then we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We can turn off our traction control as well and change the driving setup of the car from normal to race, eco or all weather. Uh, and we have our electronic handbrake just here as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is this massive panoramic glass roof. You can stop the sunblind at any point you wish to. Uh, the glass itself is fixed, um, but as you can see, that opens so far back that it really lets in a huge amount of extra light to the car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.